future forever, have you, baby? It's that way. Okay, I'm going to make a quick video today on food tests. So that's how you test for different types of food. So we're going to leap straight in with testing for glucose. Now you want to use Benedict's reagent here and you're going to heat your sample with some Benedict's reagent in a water bath. If glucose is present, you will see a brick red colour appear. If it's not present, then you'll just see the blue, which is the Benedict's reagent. And that is testing for glucose. Testing for starch is simplicity itself. You simply add a drop of iodine. Now iodine will turn blue black in the presence of starch. It will stay like a yucky brown colour if there's no starch there. To test for proteins, you're going to add bioray reagent, burette reagent. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'll spell it right now. And what will happen if you've got protein is you will see a lovely mauve purple colour. Where are you rushing off to, Lyra? And then lastly, testing for fats, you're going to use the emulsion test. So first of all, start by adding some ethanol to your sample, which is a type of alcohol. Then you'll add some water. If fat is present, you will see a milky white emulsion or suspension and it will just go cloudy effectively. Cool. That was a nice quick video, wasn't it?